uh, is the third day of our five day uh, five to thrive challenge. And we talked about, we are incorporating five daily habits into our day during this five day challenge that um, if we do that, and hopes we'll keep doing that outside of the challenge. And as we head into the holidays, I think it's really important to um, take care of ourselves. So one of those is going to bed a half hour, or excuse me, going to bed an hour earlier. The second of which is um, we've got waking up with gratitude. We've got drinking enough water. We've got, we're eliminating some sugar and we're working on our diet a little bit. And so it's been, and you know, we're also moving our body 30 minutes a day. One of the hardest things for a lot of people, hello there, beautiful. A hardest thing for a lot of women were drinking water. And I really, didn't know, I thought that would be maybe the hardest. But uh, for, for a lot of ladies, it's drinking the water every single day. So I was sharing that a little bit about that and talking about the importance of water and how it's great for digestion and how it's good for the mood. And did you know that if you don't drink enough water, it can actually cause your brain to be foggy and cause unclear thinking. It can also, not having enough water and being dehydrated can cause kidney stones. And then I used the analogy of the raisin, which I thought was interesting. I heard it recently, the analogy with the raisin. When you get a raisin, right? And you get a new, brand new package of raisins from the grocery store, if you buy raisins, but you know what I mean. I'm gonna use the analogy of a raisin you get a brand new package of raisins, you open that package and you're like, wow, it's a beautiful, plump, juicy raisin, right? Um, but if that raisin sits out, or let's say one of your kids opens that bag and it gets they get stale, what happens? The raisin gets hard and it kind of shrivels up and it gets more wrinkles, so does our skin. <laughs> So it's really important, the importance of hydration and staying hydrated on our skin is and absolutely great, I guess, for our brains, for our bodies, for our organs, and everything is staying hydrated. I learned from Shalene Johnson. Does anybody know who Shalene Johnson is? I learned from Shalene Johnson a few years ago um, when I set out on my health journey, drinking water. I really didn't know how much water I should be drinking. I know everybody said water, water, water. I had no idea. Some people are, do walk around with a gallon jug. Um, that is That gallon jug is great if that is appropriate for your body. And um, some, it could be too much water, to be quite honest with you. Drinking a gallon of water could very well be too much water for you. It goes by weight. If you can drink half of your body weight in ounces, every day. Now for me, it's around, um, that's around 75 ounces approximately. I know that if I drink three of these, and I measured, I measured each of these are 24 ounces. If I drink three of these a day, every single day, that is what works for me. Now, something that you can work, some, something that works um, for some, maybe you're like, I don't really have a place to refill those. I'm driving all day, or I have an office and I have to go all the way upstairs or downstairs to get to the water fountain. Go buy three. Go buy whatever yours fits. I measured it out. I poured a measuring cup in there and I know that I have three plus in here um, cups, which equals, um, you know, the ounces. And so I know to drink three of these a day. You could either buy one and refill it if you have access to it morning, um, morning and then noon. And then I would say the mid to mid afternoon. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But um, if you don't, if you're like, I have one water bottle and I, don't remember if I filled it and drank it. Come on, we're ladies, we know, we get so busy that happens, right? Sometimes I barely remember why I walked into the room. Take your water bottle, put put rubber bands on here, right? Put all three on when you get up in the morning and you've got your water bottle right there, put all three on. Take one off as you refill it, okay? Um, so that's a good tip. You could actually get three water bottles just like this, put them in your freezer, refrigerator every morning filled, grab them all out. If you're going somewhere, take them with you and then you'll know you'll have all three right there with you. So some tips for that. Water is extremely important. And I know that um, when I got the feedback that said that a lot of us struggle with getting the water. And the nice thing about the water is if you've eaten something, it's going to flush things out of your system. Water is really important, a part of our um, of our makeup and everything. So you definitely want to drink your water um, changing, adding some habits that'll help you drink your water and carrying around a gallon and drinking a gallon of water may not be right for you. The other question, uh, things that have women have a hard time with is drinking the water and then not having to go to the bathroom all night. That's very logical. Uh, that's a very, very important factor because really who wants that? We need our sleep, right? So my advice would be for that, and I do this with um, caffeine or if I'm drinking kombucha, um, things that could keep me awake at night, green tea, 
um, that have a little bit of caffeine in it, black tea, any tea um, that's not caffeinated, I will drink, plan to drink it um, mid-afternoon and not go into the evening. So for me, I know my cutoff is four o'clock in the afternoon. I, I In my caffeine there, I drink the bulk of my water before then. So what I plan to do is I drink, I drink uh, one water bottle. Hello there, beautiful. I drink one water bottle every morning, and then around lunchtime, I drink another one. And then mid-afternoon, you know, two to four, I'm drinking another one. And the bulk of my um, water, daily water intake is before 4 p.m. Same with any caffeine that I might be drinking because I know it keeps, keeps me up at night. So if you're letting the appropriate amount of water if you're not consuming the, uh, the right amount of water due to waking up at night and having to go to the bathroom, try that. Try it and let me know if it works for you. Um, if, if you say four o'clock, I still got up once, maybe push it to three and see. But drink your water. Get <laughs> Mama Jen says drink your water. Get your water in because it's vital to our, um, to our health. And, you know, obviously it control, like, it's vital to our mental health too if it can cause us to be have foggy thinking and unclear thinking and it's good for you know all that I mentioned before kidney stones and our skin and our organs and everything so drink your water mama Jen says drink your water if you are um if you're listening and watching and you're like this challenge seems pretty cool you can still come in um and just reply challenge or yeah just comment below and say challenge and I'll get you uh, an invite. It's happening in my VIP community where um, that's just my, it's ladies only, sorry guys, it's no guys in there. It's my VIP community and it's a really fun group of ladies and um, uh, it's really a great space for me to get to know you and um, support you and I love it. So if you'd like to be a part of that, just let me know below and I'll make sure you get the link. And tomorrow uh, in there, we will be incorporating all five of these in there. But um, tomorrow we're going to be talking about gratitude and the importance of gratitude on your day. I'm going to be doing some really fun things inside my community. So just type, um, type link down below and I'll make sure I get you that. That's it. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and a fabulous weekend.